Now, um, in the UK, around 46,000 women a year are diagnosed with breast cancer, and sadly, for around 12,000 of them, it proves to be fatal. Yeah, now, the singer Linda Nolan has already survived it once before, but since uh, two of her sisters have also been diagnosed with breast cancer, Linda now worries that the disease could well be hereditary. To find out, she's met other women who've discovered a genetic time bomb running in their families. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. Big family photo. Oh. Did it, was Anne been diagnosed though? My sister Maureen's never had cancer herself, but she supported first Anne, then me through breast cancer, and now Bernie has been diagnosed too. It was bad enough hearing about you two, but then three just seemed ridiculous. I know. Really How did unlucky. you find out? Bernie phoned me at home. She said, Are you sitting down? I've got some bad news. With three out of six sisters diagnosed within the last seven years, we can't help wondering whether we might have one of the inherited types of breast cancer gene. If we do, then it could mean there's an even higher risk of us getting more cancers in the future. The Street family have similar fears to us. Joanne's sister has had the disease and her mother died of it when Joanne was just 13. I was the only one at school that had a parent that had died. I felt that everybody was looking at me. When Jane was ill, it kind of pulled us all together. Joanne finds out today the results of her genetic test. Her sister Jane already knows that she has the inherited breast cancer gene. But they are clinging to the hope that maybe, just maybe, Joanne will be clear. The test looks for faults in two genes that scientists have linked to breast cancer. They're called BRCA1 and BRCA2. Professor Gareth Evans is consultant clinical geneticist at St. Mary's Hospital in Manchester. Prior to 1990, women pretty much had to accept their fates. Women now have much more access to early screening if they have a strong family history. If they have faults identified in their family, they have access to MRI screening of the breast up until 50 years of age, which is highly accurate uh, at picking up problems at an early stage and they do have the option of, of, of preventive surgery. Michelle King began looking for a family history of breast cancer when she was diagnosed in 2003. She found out that her grandmother and three other relatives had died of the disease. A test showed she did have the faulty gene and this put her two sisters in the frame. It is a bit of a blur now but I think you just feel like all the breath's being sucked out of you. I think it's just a sort of... <gasps> and we'd already sort of said that we would be tested if Michelle was positive, so it, it just... it was like a snowball starting, really. All three sisters tested positive and chose to go for radical preventive surgery, opting for mastectomies and hysterectomies based solely on the test results was an incredibly difficult decision to make and one that was hard to explain to their young children. I just said to them that I was going into hospital and that I had something in me that made some kinds of cancer more likely and the bits where I might get cancer I was going to have taken away so that hopefully I wouldn't become ill. After the hysterectomy I was told that um, I had got a borderline tumour in my ovary so uh, because I'd had the surgery it couldn't develop. You all seem really positive, you know, it, it's fabulous to see. But has there ever been a time when you regretted your decision? Obviously, I'm quite happy that I've minimised my risk, you know, and that I've, I've got through the surgery and that I feel fine and I won't, hopefully won't have to go through, um, you know, what lots of women have to go through. Um, I think it was hard on the children, harder than I realised, but I think um, it was still the right decision. Two of the girls, Louise and Joanne, didn't have cancer. That's like um, Denise, Maureen and Colleen and they've had the mastectomies and the hysterectomies and they're fabulous, they're great and they've no regrets so it's really it's really been a privilege to meet them as I said and um, and if you can feel up about something like this I am feel up a bit, little bit actually so thank you girls It's crunch time for Joanne if her results show she carries either of the mutated genes, she knows it increases her risk of getting breast cancer to 80%. Hi. How was it? I've got the negative gene. I've got the BR2, which is the male prostate one as well. So. 
we've already discussed I'm going to have a meal for his out first and then uh, I'm going to go and speak to the surgeon about new boobs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Though I know Joanne is putting on a brave face, the decision she's made has not been taken lightly. Uh, it's something I've lived with since being 13. So I've always thought that I was going to have breast cancer by now anyway. Um, and I haven't, so... If you can prevent it. Do what you can, the fight starts. I feel like I've been sitting on a time bomb waiting for breast cancer to reappear, so I've decided to do something about it by having the genetic test myself. I won't find out the results for another four weeks, but I'm much clearer in my mind as to what I'll do if they do come back positive. I will have preventive surgery. We have to make choices, and thankfully because of the scientists and genetic testing, we are able to do that. They are terrible choices, but they're choices that our mothers and grandmothers never got to make. Um, if it, the choice is life, then that's the choice I'm going to take. <laughs> Linda, um, you've been chatting during that film. Um, you're still waiting for those results. Yeah. How are you feeling about the weight? And you still still think that's the deci decision you'll make? Oh, I definitely think if I do have the gene, the faulty gene, then I will have the surgery. Um, I don't have children of my own, but I want to see my uh, nieces and nephews grow up. Yeah. Um, I've got to wait about another eight weeks, so it is a little bit tenterhooks, you know, but uh, we're waiting for Bernie's result as well, so well, yeah, you've just got to be positive the whole time. And how is Bernie at the moment? Because she was diagnosed back in April. So. That's right. Oh, she's fabulous. She's she. an amazing woman, and um, when I was diagnosed, she used to send me texts saying, I'm so proud of you, and you're, you're just, I'm in awe of you. And now, of course, the roles are reversed, and she's had some nasty side effects from some of the chemo, but she's just all the way through is keeping her. She's got a great family, her daughter Erin and her husband Steve. And so she's, she's very positive still, which is great. And what about your other sisters? Because if it turns out to be genetic, um, will they also need to be screened, or, or would they like to be screened? Well, I think they'll be screened anyway from an early, you know, maybe for 40, they mm. will have regular uh, mammograms every year. Mm -hmm. But um, they won't get the genetic testing until Bernie and I have, have received our results. And then, of course, Anne, who also had breast cancer in 2000, she'll be tested, I'd imagine. Yeah. And then for, but for Denise, Colleen and Bernie, it's kind of, uh, not Bernie, Denise, Colleen and Maureen, it's kind of, uh, you know, for them, it's... It's kind of, it is sitting on a time bomb, just yeah. waiting to hear, you know. Mm. But those girls that we saw in the film, you know, Joanne and then the three sisters, they're just unbelievable. Okay. Mm -hmm. just, they give you hope. It's, it's, it's almost as if um, women have even more control over their, over their lives now. I think that's Absolutely. incredible. You've got yeah. this one awful thing happening, and yet this wonderful thing about you being able to actually do something about it because yeah, this is really so it makes you feel so powerless yeah. yes. these illnesses yeah. don't oh, they terribly. so that's what I think where the hope comes well, from well and years ago you know the word cancer was a death sentence okay mm. I'm Linda lovely to see you thank you very much um, good luck with those results as well and please thank you'll you let us know much. when you had the oh I will you. indeed yeah um, if you also you've got any questions about breast cancer or need 